Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to finish off with the CSS Screen Tips tutorial. Okay, now where we left, we've got this paragraph, we've got our hyperlinks indicated, and when I mouse over my hyperlinks, a little screen tip does show up. Currently my screen tip is positioned absolutely based on the relatively positioned anchor tag within the paragraph. And I've got it positioned 10 pixels from the top, 10 pixels from the left. Okay, so I'm going to play around a little bit with this positioning. And I'm back over to my editor. And let's just try something a little bit more dramatic. What if I went 90 pixels from the left? And how about 15 pixels from the top? So I'm going to save that. Refresh. There we go. So things are looking a little bit better. However, since my hyperlinks are of different lengths, I really can't predict exactly where my screen tip is going to show up. I actually like it here for this one short hyperlink, the word hyperlink. It's looking good for those, but my long text hyperlink, I'm not too happy with the position of that screen tip. So the secret here is not to position it from the left of the anchor tag, because we don't necessarily know how long our anchor tags are going to be. Let's try positioning it from the right of our anchor tags. So instead of the left, how about the right? And instead of 90 pixels, I'll start off with uh, 0 pixels so we can see how that looks. Okay, so there it is from the right side. Now, now just a little bit of uh, logic here. If my screen tips are 80 pixels wide and I position from the right, if I were to position 80 pixels to the right of the right side of my anchor tag, that should take care of things. So if I want to go beyond, I'll put in a negative 80 pixels for my right positioning. There we go. So now all my screen tips are loading up at the same spot at the right side of the hyperlink, which is good, especially when you don't know how long each hyperlink will be. Just to give it a little bit more space, I could go ahead and make it a negative 85 pixels. Excellent. Okay, now that that part's taken care of, let me just do a little bit of a cleanup here. Um, I'm also going to put, here, let's get a little room here, I'm also going to go ahead and put a border radius. So I'll use the border radius property. And let's see, how about just five pixels? And because I'm using Firefox and a lot of other people do also, let's go ahead and put it in the Mozilla specific border radius of five pixels. Um, let's see, I can get rid of those green borders. I don't need those anymore. I just needed them temporarily so I could see what was going on. All right, takes care of that. Back over here, refresh. There we go. So now I've got my screen tips loading up how I like. Um, one more little cleanup thing, very, very small issue. I didn't like how close my text was to those, so I'm going to put a little bit of padding on these. How about four pixels? Excellent. So there are my screen tips for my paragraph. Now I'm going to do something pretty similar up here with the navigation menu. Haven't done anything with the navigation menu yet, so let's go ahead and take care of that now. I do have one rule for my nav menu where I set the width, the margin, and I did set the position relative because once again I'm going to do some absolute positioning. So that we can see things though, how about if I stick a little border on here for a moment. Two pixels, solid and green. So now I can really see where this nav menu is. And let's get to work. Just like I worked on the paragraphs, I'm going to work on my navigation menu. Now my navigation menu is uniquely identified, so when I start to work on the elements, pretty easy enough to do, my nav menu, list item A. So the anchor tags within the list items within my nav menu. I'm going to go ahead and do text decoration none to get rid of those hyperlinks. I'm sorry, to get rid of the underlines of the hyperlinks. Let's do another descendant selector. Nav menu, list item, A, span. Okay, these are the screen tips. My screen tips are the spans within the anchor tags. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and display none. Now we've got our big one here. So, nav menu, list, list items, A colon, Cover span. And there's going to be a lot of similarities, by the way, to what I just did on that paragraph. So I'll just start to put these in here. When I hover over my menus, my menu hyperlinks, I want the tooltips to display as block elements. I want them to be positioned 
absolutely. I'm going to position them zero pixels from the top and zero pixels from the right. Well, you might be wondering, well, zero pixels from the top of what? Zero pixels from the right of what? Well, my spans or my screen tips are positioned absolutely. Scroll up a little bit more, here we go. My nav menu is positioned relatively, okay? So, the green bordered navigation menu is the relative positioned container. So all of my screen tips will be on the top right side of that div bot of that unordered list. Okay, we'll see this in just a moment. Uh, let me go ahead and put in those border radius in the Mozilla version, and then I really I'm just going to do a little copying and pasting. I'm going to have my screen tips look pretty much the same. So let me just go up here for a bit. And let's see, I need to get um, background color width. I'll do the border on there. Text and actually, text and dent's not too critical here. Um, but I'll go and get font size and color. In fact, I'll just go ahead and grab all of these. Copy those. Paste. I don't need text and dent since this wasn't an original paragraph. And let's see how things are looking here. Let's go ahead and close that off back over here refresh there we go so there are my screen tips as I mouse over now I'm gonna do one little thing here because my screen tips are of different lengths I want my screen tip box to be the same height no matter what so I'm gonna go back over to my editor here and I'm gonna make the height you know, if I can spell it the height of my screen tip box I'm gonna make it a hundred percent hundred percent of what 100% of its parent container, okay? So since my screen tips are inside of the unordered list, that should take care of that. Um, and, and let me go ahead and get rid of that border while I'm here too, let's see. It's all the way back up here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the border. Save that. Refresh. There we go. So. Those are some CSS powered screen tips. I've got a navigation menu that shows a screen tip for each of the options, for each of the menu items. This screen tip is positioned to the right of the unordered list, which is about 400 pixels wide or so, maybe 300. And I've also got these screen tips on text within my paragraphs. These screen tips are positioned to the right side going outside though, so it's a negative right side measurement to the negative right of each hyperlink. So there you go, CSS powered screen tips.